Okay, so next I will to up these general facts, I will talk something about uh, what I'm going to talk about co-movement, couple of statements. So here is a piece of news from media. So that's that's quite interesting why I read it. So I think that's quite interesting. So that's also you, you can see what you can get from a, a newspaper or media and what they can interpret some some data could be quite uh, yeah, quite different way from what uh, we are thinking. So there's a fund developed by an accounting professor in CIBS, that's a very famous business school in China, in Shanghai. That's the Central European International Business School, something like that. I think that's one of the top three uh, business schools in China. So what he wants to do, he wants to identify stocks identify stocks with very strong fundamental. And okay, but I mean, he started the fund in 2010, uh, sorry, 2011. That's a very bad market. So okay, we are so afraid of the whole market risk. We try to pass that. So fortunately now, uh, there's future offered in China market. You can hedge for the market risk by shorting the future. So basically what you want to do is that you buy these stocks with strong fundamental and you short the whole market. Then what you get is the separation, the difference between those stocks and the whole market. So if the, these stocks outperform the market, you get benefit, you get positive return. If these stocks underperform the market, you get negative return. So that's basic idea. Basic idea that we do not want to bear the risk of the whole market because we don't know the market is going up or down. But we do think we have some these stocks. They are better than the rest. They are relatively better than the rest. Okay? So we try to get the relative return. So that's the basic idea for all the hedge funds. For all the hedge funds. But they uh, operate in different ways. Uh, that's the original source of the news. So for this half of year, half uh, half of a year, so they got about 0.58 percent return. The contemporaneous market return is about minus 21 percent. So the newspaper said, okay, it seems that the, it really works. So you didn't suffer anything from the down market. You even get uh, some positive return. So we are coming back to this news uh, later, after I explain something. <coughs> so there are also some basic concepts. So first it's about diversification. So if you are uh, some kind of finance major, economics major, you should maybe should know that, but I will explain a little bit. So a basic diversification <coughs> in daily life, maybe that's not diversification, but kind of hygiene, that's insurance. That's insurance. What, what is insurance? That when you suffer, when you suffer, you get paid by the company, right? So if you take the insurance separately, the payment is very volatile. You get a large amount at very random event, but zero at other event. It's very volatile. Your own event is also volatile. You get normal income at most of the time, but random shock at some event. But if you combine them together, you get a very smooth income. You get a very smooth income. That's, that's insurance. But not, you do not necessarily to have a perfect, perfect insurance. You just have some random, unrelated income together. You can hedge a lot of, we call it unsystematic risk. You can move, make your income much more smooth than an individual one. Than individual. That's the concept of diversification. We can avoid individual shock. Of course, that cannot avoid systematic shock, the shock to the whole market. For example, in the recent crisis, when we have a shock, oh, the insurance companies still went bankruptcy. You still get nothing. Still get nothing. Okay? You can avoid your individual shock, but still you cannot avoid the market shock, the whole shock, aggregate shock. So cool movement that's related to 
the stock market, so stock prices rise and fall together. So if we have 1,000 stocks that always rise and fall together, basically you do not have enjoy anything about diversification because you always get the same income, same level of income, whatever the situation is. Okay? You cannot cancel out any so-called asymmetric stuff. So what does high commodity mean? That we have very strong common factors. If you think about the recent crisis, we have a very strong crisis affecting everyone. Then we have a almost downward income for everyone. That's a common shock. And we have a very strong movement. But in a normal period, maybe in 2004, you can see someone getting better, someone getting worse. That's not so systematic. So <clears throat> that's something I want to talk about China market. So you can expect that China markets, they do have a very strong uh, commitment. But before that, we first take a look at US market. OK? So that's, that's basically a figure to show the effect or the powerfulness, power of diversification. So this line, this line is I take the volatility of each individual stock for all the stocks in the market. And I take average. I take average. OK? So this line is the market volatility. Market volatility. So if you buy all the stock together, OK? So you can see the market volatility is much lower than the individual ones, even though you take average of each one. So that's why, that's why, that's because diversification, you, they cancel out each other for some asymptomatic risk. So that's left, that's the market. The difference is something we can cancel out. And also you can see there is some rise for this one. That's because, for example, bubble period, crash period, crisis period, we have a very strong common factors. But we have a very strong common factor. So <coughs> that's uh, a study by some researchers uh, in quite early year periods, like in 2010, uh, 2000. So why you read a study like that? Basically, they use data before 1995. So that's a cool movement around the world at that time, around the mid 90s. The highest one is Poland. Is Poland. The second is China, and here is US. Here is US. So let's take a look at China. So still, we have this line like the individual stock average. This line like the, cap, uh, the whole market quality. And we can see almost no difference. There's no almost no difference. So it's kind of suggesting when you invest in China stock market, it doesn't matter a lot if you invest in several stocks on the whole market. You do not enjoy the so-called diversification. Uh, I mean, the, the benefit of diversification. So also you can learn something like uh, the so-called in newspaper press that policy-driven market, government-dominant uh, market, that could also relate to this phenomenon that you have a very strong force to move all the price up and down, like policy, like government, then you have something like that. So we, we are not simply saying something like that. We, we can see that from the data. So how we can understand what does policy driven mean? What does government, central government mean? That means you do not have any benefit from diversification because we have a so strong a force to drive the whole market. The individual ones, well, maybe they, we don't care. They are relatively too uh, powerless. 